This is one of my drills that I do with my students. It helps keep our weight back. Uh, we want to have a lot of resistance with the stride foot. So her left foot here, at the same time, she's going to actually pitch the ball from here from one knee. So you're going to get down on your right knee and uh, she's going to try to press back a little bit with this foot. So her foot's about 45 degree angles, like where she lands when she actually pitches. And the important thing on this is that she doesn't move her shoulders at the same time she's throwing the ball. She's going to try to stay as stiff as she can here and get her arm going fast. So go ahead and, and throw it. Good. Come through a little faster. Good. So what happens is her arm needs something to pull against when she releases the ball. So if her shoulders are moving or her body's moving forward at the same time she's releasing the ball, there's no resistance there. And she needs to have, her arm needs something to really pull against when she releases. So this is what she's pulling against, it's her body. She's creating her own resistance. So her shoulders are staying still, her left leg is planting real solid. And, and firm. You don't want to land with, uh, or make it like a locked leg. You just want to make sure that it's um, slightly bent but firm when she throws. Okay. And follow through a little stronger. Good. Try to spin the ball. Tr actually trying to throw the ball hard from here. Keep your body still and pull. Good. That was a good one. Do two more. Nice. Good follow through. Good. This is a drill that I like to do with uh, my very, very beginning students, girls that are eight and under that are starting. Uh, they don't know how, to, how it feels like to, to let the ball roll off their fingers yet. And a lot of times they'll end up kind of pushing the ball but it's, they, they don't have very good control because they're not letting it roll off their fingers. So what I have them do is I want them to get used to uh, letting the ball roll off their fingers and not using so much of their body. So what I'll do is I'll actually hold their arm here and she's going to try to throw the ball from there. Good. And so I'm holding her arm still so it's not moving and her shoulders aren't moving. Go ahead. And what it should look like if she's doing this right is her fingertips should come up. So one more time. Okay, so the, what we want to look for in this is that the ball goes straight to the target and it doesn't have this little loopy thing like this. So we don't want the ball to come up like that. We want to make sure she's releasing it early enough to go straight to the target and stay low. Okay, so you have your grip. Make sure they have the right grip every time. Go ahead. Good. And the one thing I see with this drill is that the girls will try to use their body but I'm trying to hold them still. So you want to keep on telling them, try to relax their, their arm, try to relax their shoulders, and just feel the ball in their fingertips right now. One more. Good. Okay, so from here, since I'm not going to be there when they're practicing every time, I'm going to have them use their glove, and they're going to get their grip. They're going to use their glove to hold their arm here. Okay, and make sure, this is one thing you want to make sure, they tend, as they do this throughout time, they start practicing more and more, they start to come out here a little, and we've got to make sure that they're still back here. They keep it right by their side. Okay, go ahead. And the catcher knows if she's using too much of her body, that ball's coming in too fast. She should barely be able to make it there if she's doing this right. So only fingertips, not using your whole body. It's just using the fingertips right now. One more. 